With a focus on high efficiency and multi-axis machining, Powermill helps you to produce high quality components faster. The Powermill robot interface builds on these strengths by allowing robots with external axes, such as rotary tables and linear tracks, to be programmed with as much ease as you would program a five-axis machine. This eliminates the traditionally complex and laborious process associated with programming robot control systems. It also eradicates the need for teach and learn and the inevitable fine-tuning that goes with it. To show you how simple the process is, I'm going to briefly demonstrate the workflow of programming a component using Powermill Robot Interface. The workflow starts by reading a component into Powermill. I'm going to do that using a Windows Explorer by simply dragging and dropping the file into the Powermill window. Here you can see the full size character that I wish to machine. And in exactly the same way as I would for a five axis machine, I simply create a roughing operation and a finishing operation using the range of toolpaths that are available from within Powermill. So having got the toolpaths that we require, we can start to use Powermill Robot Interface to output to the robot. And to achieve that, we simply go to the top right hand corner and click the Powermill Robot Interface button. And you can see that three tabs appear that we can use to first of all select the robot that we wish to use. I'm going to use an ABB IRB 6640 with a rotary table capability here, so seven axis in all. And you can see that that has appeared. The next thing I can do is, is maybe choose the default uh, configuration for this robot that I'd like to use. And basically what that is, is that I can control the priority on different axes and also the axis limits to stay within certain regions. And you can see that I've done that for the, uh, the rotary table here, I've given it a high priority. So having done that, I'm then ready to rewind the robot to the start of the roughing operation. And you can see the robot takes its most efficient posture from where it was. But in that case, it's given me quite a low knuckle joint. So I'm going to use one or two of the uh, functionality available within Powermill Robot Interface to first of all, nudge the robot round so that we've got a higher knuckle joint. I'm then going to remember this position so that now when I rewind and play the operation, you can see that the robot endeavors to keep that knuckle high. So that done, we have a video recorded file of the robot moving through that sequence that we can rewind and step forward through to see exactly what happens at any one position. The final stage is to go to the program tab, supply a name, and press the write program button. And what happens is Powermill writes this operation in the native language of the robot in question.